You may have heard we are giving away a $10,000 shopping spree to Door County Interiors and Design. Our own Emily Dean stopped by the store to find some fun and unique ways to decorate a tabletop. Hey, good morning, everybody. Need some help decorating your kitchen table? Well, we have a few ideas for you. Annette Anderson is here with me this morning. Um, this is a great setup. What'd you do here? Well, Emily, we have a very traditional style table here. It's a copper top table with some beautiful, unique, uh, traditional chairs. And what we tried to do to keep it within a theme and do something a little bit different is we used some beautiful, beautiful, large, oversized jars with one candlestick. We put some beautiful olive branches in here with a little bit of regular branches. Um, and just to finish it off, we put just some little brown um, berries down here at the bottom. So something a little bit different to keep within a traditional theme um, and different for your table topper. All right, Annette, we're working with a little bit of bigger table now. What'd you do here? Um, this is a really traditional style table and it's a little more casual than the last one we looked at. It's a plank top um, cherry table with some uh, more traditional chairs, but they tend to lend themselves to be a little more transitional. I again did something a little bit different on a tabletop. I've used these bell cloches, which are extremely popular now. We have a little bit more of a coastal look going on with the rope. Um, added some greens, which just to keep it more nature, uh, coastal kind of looking. But you can put a variety of things in the cloches. For those of you who are not familiar with a cloche, um, it's just a bell jar. They come either with a base or like I have one at home that's just the glass top. So you could put a variety of things, candles, Christmas time, ornaments. But we kind of kept it coastal here and to finish it off with the shorebirds. I love it. And you can't forget about the coffee tables. Let's move right over okay. here. Okay. Well, here we have a very unique coffee table. This is actually a reclaimed gate, which we've put a piece of glass over the top. So it's very unique. Um, what I've done here, just to show you, we've tried to keep it a little Door County since we are up here. I've used some lanterns, which I have a Door County picture in here by a local artist. And then of course the Door County cherries. So I put a little bit of cherries in one of our um, little pots here um, and added a little, this is actually a book you can buy if you were having guests come over and sign uh, the book to say how you liked your stay, if it was a rental property or if it was your own personal cottage. And to finish it off, I thought I would put the little uh, coffee uh, coaster here <laughs> <laughs> for Pete. <laughs> We're always looking out for Pete, right? Yep. Annette, great ideas. Thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. If you'd like to enter the Wake Up and Sit Down contest, there are a number of ways. You can send your name, age, address, and phone number to the address on your screen. You could also enter online through Facebook or by dropping off an entry at our studio on Lombardi Avenue during regular business hours. For the contest rules, go to fox11online.com, click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab, and then click on the Wake Up and Sit Down tab on the right.